Yo, what's good, y'all? In this video, we're putting Patrick Williams on the San Antonio Spurs. Proof he's Kawhi Leonard. So I'm going to put Patrick Williams in the trade finder, and I'm going to go all the way to the San Antonio Spurs, and they're going to want to give up Devin Vassell and Trey Jones. Now, the reason why his star value is this high is because I changed his tendencies and his potential exactly the same to Kawhi Leonard. So we're going to go ahead and accept this trade right here. So Patrick Williams, he is a San Antonio Spurs. Also, I gave Greg Popovich four more years of coaching and I'm going to keep giving him contracts until he can't coach no more. But here we are in San Antonio, Patrick Williams. He's coached under Greg Pop, one of the greatest coaches ever. He has the same potential as Kawhi when he was young and the same tendencies, but everything else he's going to grow himself. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm a Chicago Bulls fan and I stream on Twitch, by the way, link in the description. And all my viewers, you know, we all have jokes and whatever and they always joke around how uh chicago bulls with the number fourth pick picked up patrick williams and how he didn't become like a thriving star and all this stuff and i feel like the reason because of that is chicago we're not good at developing players i mean the last good developed player that we had was jimmy butler and that guy's generational all right so i feel like my chicago bulls is holding patrick williams back just because of the star power and they're you know they're not giving them enough touches so i went ahead and gave patrick williams the same touch tendencies and the shot tendencies so he's going to be pulling in this video and we're going to go ahead and follow him his whole career until he retires and let's see how his career would have panned out under greg popovich so this is the starting lineup at the beginning of the video we got blake wesley at the point guard so we don't have devin Vassell no more josh richardson kelton johnson patrick williams and yaka Pertle. So let's go ahead and simulate all the way to the end of the season and see how well Patrick Williams does. Of course, Luka Doncic wins the MVP. Rookie of the year goes Apollo, Kevin Love, six man of the year, Giannis, DPOY, Kate Cunningham, most improved player. Would have hoped they would Patrick Williams, but you know, Kate, those numbers don't lie, bro. As expected, the San Antonio Spurs is the worst team in the West. And Patrick Williams this year has a 77 overall average, 20 four and one assist you know shooting 44 percent from the field 32 percent from the three he shot worse from lat than last year but just know because he's shooting way more like this right here looks like you know most improved numbers right here and this is what happens when you play under coach pop you know if any of y'all care you know celtics win jason tatum finals mvp and it's so funny udonis haslam thinks he's retiring well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and send the lottery. And of course, we don't get it. The Rockets get the first pick. We get the second. And the Hornets get the third. All right. Victor Wembanyama will be a Rocket. And here we go. Number two. Who will the Spurs select? Okay, we got Scoot on the team. That's what I like to see. So Patrick Williams, Scoot, and DeAndre Hunter together on the same team. And the Spurs also signed Miles Turner in the offseason. That's a, that's a crazy pickup right there. I'm not going to lie to you. And we're here in the player progression. Patrick Williams is the 80 overall. Jumped up five. He's on his last year of his rookie deal. Uh, hopefully the Spurs, you know, re-sign him. But this is the lineup for our Spurs. We signed Patrick Beverly. We signed Kelly Oubre. We got Keldon. We got Pat. Miles Turner starting. School is our sixth man until, you know, he, he starts getting them minutes. And we got Jakob Pertle and DeAndre Hunter on the bench. And Alec Burks and Jeremy Sohan on the bench too. Bro, look at the people we have starting over the people we have like Bro, DeAndre Hunter should be starting over Kelly Oubre. Like, I don't I don't care what anybody says. Keldon, he could stay where he at. But you know what? Whatever Greg Popovich wants, he'll get, all right? Hopefully, hold on. We got to see if he's still, you know, coaching for us. I'm pretty sure he still is. Yeah, he's still got three years left. And we got a new MVP in the league. It is actually John Moran. This is the first time we've seen this. 32-7-11. Scoot, our rookie right here, he's averaging 19-3-8. He's probably getting the starter minutes now. IQ, six men. Giannis, DPOY, Tyler Harrell, most improved, averaging 30 now. And look, we made the fifth seed. Patrick Williams this season averaged 22, 6, and one assist and one steal, man. Shooting 45% from the field. You see, he's at 82 overall now. And we're playing against the Nuggets, so this is the starting lineup we got. We're going against Jokic, man. Miles Turner, you got a lot of shooters to fill right now because, hey, Jokic might have like a field day with you. And we are going to a game seven against the Nuggets. Sadly enough, we fell short against the Nuggets, you know. Uh, hey, that game, Scooey dropped 16. How did Patrick Williams do? Five points, two for 12? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> nah, he shot one for seven from the three, man. I'm sick, Pat, bro. This isn't this isn't how you're supposed to be going now, bro. How'd you average? He averaged 15 in the playoffs. 
when the light was on him he shot 39 percent from the field oh man it, it's okay pat don't worry hey you can redeem it next year we got a zion and donovan mitchell finals and donovan mitchell finals mvp he averaged 41 in that finals as well patrick williams in the offseason he got a one-year deal for 12 mil he's an 85 overall now um i thought he was gonna you know get a more years on his contract but hey one year he's gonna have to prove himself bro that that playoff performance it set the bar low and this year we are the a seed in the play-in and we got blew the hell out in that playing game so we're gonna have to play the utah jazz and we lost both games in the play-in just for us to not make it to the playoffs at all all right it's time for the patrick williams stat watch he averaged 24 this season five rebounds Still not passing that rock, but hey, he's shooting way better every year now. We got a Sixers Rockets finals, and the Rockets win it. Of course, Victor Wembanyama's a god. Oh no, Westbrook's retiring. No, you're not. Let's go. Patrick Williams got a four year deal, you know, for 140 mil. He's getting paid 86 over on the Spurs now. That's what I like to see. And it looks like the Knicks finally did a good signing for once. And we are the fifth seed once again against the Houston Rockets. Last playoffs, we had to go up against Jokic. Now we got to go up against Victor Wimbanyama now. And they got D'Lo and Chris Middleton on their team. And it looks like we're going to a game seven with them as well. And in the battle of Texas, oh my God, it went to overtime. And in the battle of Texas, we got Houston beating the Spurs. And by two, oh my god, bro. We lost in a game seven once again. Good Doncic, he's in the finals against the Cavs. And the Cavs win once again. Darius Garland now getting the finals MVP. Hey, we got Scoot and Patrick Williams, the dynamic duo at a 92 overall at the same time. Nick Smith Jr., you know, in the Victor Wembanyama draft, he wins the MVP. I'm surprised Victor didn't, but he's averaging 28 with the Knicks. The Knicks got him and Giannis. Hey, they, they might win the championship. Martin Bailey, six men. Oh, he's also on the Rockets too, you know. He's playing with uh, Victor Wimbanyama. I don't like how they're blackballing, you know, Patrick Williams on the all-defensive teams over the couple years. I don't know. I wonder if he won an all-star though. But our Spurs, we are a second seed. And it looks like in 2027, he was an all-star. This season, we averaged 23s, 7, and 2 assists. And this is the year we made the, you know, all-star game. The Kings looking real crazy right now, man. They got Aiden, 90 overall, Joshua Mercer, Jalen Brown. But it doesn't matter because we swept them. Now we're in the second round. We're going against the Pelicans. They got Brandon Ingram, Zion. They also acquired Clint Capella, so they don't have valid tunas. And, and with the Lakers pick, you see, they got Amon Thompson. And we lost in the second round in six games. And tell me why I see a K. Murray. I'm thinking, did we get Keegan Murray? This is his name is Chris Murray, but he looks like Keegan Murray. Who is this guy? In the finals, we got a Thunder and Knicks finals. Then the Knicks win it because they actually have a, you know a, a contending lineup for once. They have Giannis, Nick Smith Jr. as well. You know he won the MVP. They still got RJ in there and Jalen Duran too and James Wiseman. And our teammate School Henderson wins the MVP. He averaged 32, 4, and 14. But don't worry, Patrick Williams. He almost he averaged 25 basically this season. This and we are the first seed. So. Thanks to Scoot Henderson and his MVP. And we easily, gentlemen, sweep the Phoenix Suns. And we sweep the Thunder in the second round with ease. Now we got the Battle of Texas in the conference finals. Hey, we lost to the Houston Rockets before. But they have a 77 overall named Lothar Lindman. I don't know who that is. They got Michael Porter Jr. on the team still. And of course, Jalen Green and Victor Wembanyama. And we are going to a game seven with them again. And what a shame we came up short against the Rockets again. They're just too damn good. Victor Wimbanyama is going back to the finals, man. Just knowing that game seven, Patrick Williams scored 34, 10, and 3, shooting 12 for 17, man, with two steals and three blocks. I know, hey, I know School Anderson had 19 assists, but hey, this Patrick Williams stat, we might as well see who wins it all. And of course, it's the Cavaliers, man. They just own the simulation. Donovan Mitchell, finals MVP. Looks like they won the trade. Is Zion Williamson going to the Bulls? Bulls, what? Oh my God! Look at these signings. Like John Moran's going to New Orleans. How do y'all feel about that, man? Who Henderson back at it again with another fantastic season on the Spurs. And Patrick Williams, I'm pretty sure this might be the first time he's on an All NBA team, but here he is, All NBA second team. He averaged 29 this season. Hey, Kawhi Leonard, much? Uh, hey, Pop, Pop is still on the team. Best believe it. Seven rebounds, three assists shooting 50% from the field, man. And we are a third seed, though. Uh, I would have thought we was back to the first seed, but we didn't win that many games, but it's okay. But in the first round, we're going against Golden State. Why are we always playing against Jalen Brown, bro? 
But they have Zaire Williams, Zadik Bay, Keontae George. Shout out Keontae George. He's a hooper. And we are going to a game seven of them. It's a minute 36 left. We're down by two. I might as well go ahead and jump in. We got to stop Jalen right Brown. Jalen Brown into driving to the lane and couldn't get that to go. Good defense by the Spurs. Here we go. We got Scoo. Scoo takes it up and gets blocked. Oh my God. But hold on. Jalen Brown for the three pointer. Couldn't get that to go as well, but Big O gets the offensive glass. All right, come on, give it to Patrick Williams. I think it's time. It's time to give it to Patrick. Scoot, he's gonna just ISO Keontae, and he couldn't get that to go, but he does go out of bounds. So we get the ball back. All right, you see, you see number 11 right there, Patrick Williams sitting in big bodies. They need to give it to him, bro. Scoot, okay, it's three. He couldn't get that to go, but you see Patrick Williams. Oh my God, he couldn't get the layup to go. We can't get nothing to go. What is our offense? And Patrick Williams is going to go ahead and foul him. I don't know why. Oh my God, we're doubling. And they're going to go ahead and foul. We're down by four, bro. There's no way we can. There's no way we can come back, bro. Hey, in that game, Patrick Williams just know he scored 39-9-3 and, and still lost. Still lost that game seven, bro. I can't believe it. It looks like Patrick Williams needs help, bro. That's all I got to say. But since we're out of the first round, we're going to have a Thunder and Cavs finals again. And the Cavs are just on a streak, bro. They just can't stop winning. Luka on his new team, he's still putting up the same numbers he was five years ago. But Patrick Williams is still making all NBA teams. That's what I like to see. I need him to make more all NBA teams, more all-star appearances. I know he's still, hey, he's a four-time all-star. Y'all see it. But we need him to at least get a DPOY or maybe a championship, please. We are the fourth seed, and we're going up against John ja Moran. He's on the Pelicans now. He has Anthony Black. Kai Jones, Wendell Carter Jr. And we are tied in the series in the first round again. Another game seven. Sad enough, we can't keep a game close because we would lose by four in the first round once again. I don't know what is happening. Like, Patrick Williams, what are you averaging in the playoffs? Playoffs, he averaged 27, 9, and 4, man. I don't, I don't see him that he's doing bad. It's just this team in general, you know, with Scoot and Pat. They just can't get it done. And look at that. You know, the Bulls are already in the finals before the Spurs are. And we got the Kings winning it all, you know. It's okay. So, Luka Doncic wins it with the Kings. The Kings' Sacramento savior. You see it right there. And I want to know what the Bulls' roster is looking like after we traded Patrick Williams. They got Bones, Amari Bailey, Herbert Jones, Zion Williamson, Bam. Oh, my God. Their team is so good, bro. On paper, their team is really good. And Scoot Henderson once again winning back his MVP award. Patrick Williams still making all NBA second team. He, hey, this is best season yet. Averaging 32, 8, and 2, 50%. We got the MVP and Patrick Williams as a dynamic duo. They are bound. And uh, look at all defensive team. Uh, finally. Finally. He gets credit. He's on the all-defensive second team. But as I was saying, these two, we are only the four seed, but, hey, we should be able to, like, you know, get past everybody. Especially out of the first round, because we are always in a game seven in the first round, y'all. We have, like, this weird kink where we love to go to game sevens. But thankful enough, we beat them in that game seven. We finally advanced to the second round over the Nuggets. Now, in the second round, we're going against the Rockets again. They got Victor. They don't have Jalen Green no more, but they do have Tyrese Maxey and A.J. Griffin, bro. And just know, yesterday, I seen A.J. Griffin game my Chicago Bulls last night. I give them total respect. My Chicago Bulls, you guys suck. You can't play a lick of defense. And surprising enough, we 4 won them in the second round. Now we're officially in the Western Conference Finals against the OKC Thunder. This team is really good because they have a big three of Josh Giddey, Shea, and Shea Hogan. Crazy how we eliminate the first team in the West, but we can't beat Shea and the Thunder. But I guess they just have more depth compared to us. And the Knicks end up winning the championship again. Asar Tom... Wait, do they have Amon and Asar? I'm so confused. I swear the Knicks had Amon before. I mean, I might be tripping, but they don't even have Giannis anymore. They have Paolo and Jared Allen and Jaden Ivey. Who, I don't know who allowed that to happen, but... Congratulations on the championship. The Victor Wembanyama decided to move on from the Rockets and is joining the Brooklyn Nets. Who Anderson once again averaging 38 on our Spurs team because it's only him and Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams again 28, 8 and 2. Not crazy as last season, but you know, all NBA 13. I'll take it. And we are the second seed in the NBA now. And we won in the first round in six games. Now we're in the second round going against the Sacramento Kings. They have Kelly Oubre. 
everybody else i have no idea but we beat them in five either way and now we're going against the best team in the west they got nick smith jr uh previous mvp winner by the way brandon miller he's an 80 overall in this game i know he's po he's possibly top three projected for for the nba draft next season but they have Jalen Duran. I swear he was on our team before too. And they have Nikola Jokic still, bro. Sadly enough, we got swept. We have yet to be in the finals game. The Chicago Bulls almost, you know, went to the finals as well. Imagine we would have went up against the Chicago Bulls. That would have been insane. But we got the Nuggets and the Nets and Victor Wimbanyama. Oh, actually, no. Dyson Daniels won finals MVP. Victor was on the Nets. I would have thought he would have won straight up. But I guess Dyson Daniels... He got that, bro. My God, look at Greg Popovich's face, bro, after coaching Patrick Williams for all these years, man. But hey, for once and for the first time, Patrick Williams' first All-NBA team, y'all. He averaged 30 once again, nine rebounds, three assists. Bro, he's making his way up. Just know him and him, him and Scoot, they will be cooking this season. We're the first team and we're going against Luka in a Grizzlies jersey. It looks crazy. And he's playing with Cats. And we lost against this Grizzlies team in six games in the first round. They just, well, it, it was nowhere close, like, for me to, you know, jump in these games. But we're going to go ahead and simulate and Victor's in the NBA Finals once again. And, of course, Shea in the Thunder. Victor wins his finals. Look at him. Patrick Williams back at it with the All-NBA first team. Hey, you see in the guards, there's no scoop. It, it, it might look like Patrick Williams might have took a hold of this team, you know, averaging 32 and 10 rebounds, a double-double. We're a fifth seed, you know. We're, I, it's hard to be a fifth seed when you look at our lineup. We have Quinton Grimes at the two, an old Miles Turner, Arthur Kaluma. I don't know how old he is. He's like 80. He's 32 years old, by the way. Our 32-year-old Arthur Kaluma. In a game seven against the Timberwolves, we are eliminated once again. And I promise you, I'm not lying. Look at the screen right now. We always go in the game sevens in the first round, and we lose most of them. But Cameron Whitmore brought the Warriors back to the finals. Of course, the Nets are a finals team because of Victor Wembanyama. Damn, never mind, because there's hella pieces on that Nets team, like Dyson Daniels helping them. And, like, they have a Julian Phillips. They have Trey Young, 85 overall. Tari Eason. Damn, Giannis retired as a bull. That's insane. You're coming back. I, I just love bringing back NBA players. Like, I don't I don't care. Like, look, Miles Turner, you know what? You could retire, bro. We don't need you. Lonzo Ball, you could come back now. And after the season, look, we like, look at the team. All these red arrows. We had nobody young anymore. Our youngest player is, what, 25? Oh, 19. A 19-year-old that we drafted. Another All-NBA season by Patrick Williams, 28, 8, and 3. But, hey, individually, he's doing good. Let's try to do well in the playoffs, man. We're the sixth seed. We're going against the Grizzlies again. Do they have uh, Luka Doncic still? Yes, they do. They got Keontae George as well. And finally, we get through the first round with ease in sixth game against the Grizzlies. Now we're in the second round against the Denver Nuggets, but it doesn't matter because we advance to the conference finals overall. Now we're going against the fourth seeded Sacramento Kings. And the Kings, they have Baba Carr Miller, Anthony Black. And we have a game seven here, folks. Our, this is our path to the finals. We need to win this. And we suck. You know what? I need a word from Greg Popovich. Uh, tell me, Greg, why why did we lose? I don't think Greg could talk, all right? You know, he, he's, he's like 100 years old by this point in, in the year 2030-something. Victor Webber, Yama's on the Cavs now? What? Bro, this went over our head, bro. He's playing with Kendall Brown. I thought he was still playing for the Nets. We're back to being bad again because the only players we have is Patrick Williams. So I'm going to go ahead and try to simulate. But hey, we're back in the seventh seed, so that's cool. And of course, we're playing the Grizzlies. We always play against the Grizzlies. And we lost in six by f five points. We lost in six, bro. Patrick Williams, he put up 28, 8, and 8 in four on 14 shots. And the Kings win it all. Baba Carr Miller, finals MVP. School! Enough about Scoot, though. Hey, he's averaging 31, 8, and 3. And we are the third seed. Like, I don't know why, but we always end up losing so many games in the first half of the season. And we always heat up at the end. And with these, we coast by the Clippers in the first round. Now we're going against the Trailblazers in the second round. Where's Benedict Matherin? Shout out to Benedict Matherin because I, I believe in my past videos, I predicted ben Benedict Matherin might become like a, a rookie of the year candidate, not MVP. But uh, I also seen that... Cade Cunningham, bro. He has a season-ending injury now. Damn, bro. It sucks. But he just reminded me that, you know, like, Cade is young, and I, I, I miss seeing Cade play, you know? And we are going to a Game 7 against them. We're here in this Game 7, and we are down by one with 26 seconds left. I know they're going to go ahead and foul, so they're going to send him to the free, uh, free throw line. 
and we're gonna have to like try to tie up this game. Here's the first free throw. Let's see if he makes it, and yep, he makes the first. Here goes the second free throw, and he gets it as well. Three point game. Let's see what the Spurs do. All right, let's see what Greg Popovich got cooking up. He got Scoot on the bench. Just know that they're gonna give it to Patrick Williams though. Let's see him back in the post. Okay, he got a post game. Let me find out. Hold on, Patrick Williams passes it back and he shoots the three. Damn, can't get that to go, and that will definitely be game. So here's the first free throw, and yup, that is that that is good, man. And yup, the Blazers beat us in that game seven. Just know Patrick Williams scored 26, three and seven, and five steals, by the way. So unfortunate to see Patrick Williams don't have a back, but the Blazers win. Leonard Miller wins finals MVP, so congratulations to them. Coop still getting them MVP awards after all these years. Greg Popovich, hey, look at him. He wins coach of the year, but just know um, he's probably, he probably doesn't care. But Patrick Williams, you see him, all NBA team once again, averaging 30. School Henderson averaging 36. They might be the, the next Kobe and Shaq, but without a ring. But so we are the first seed in the West. Can we possibly win a ring this season? This is the roster as of right now. See, there's a lot of green arrows because we got a lot of 80 overalls as in like in the low 80s. You know, they don't really do crazy stuff, but I guess they got the job done. And it appears that we might be frauds. And crazy enough, in game five, we won by like 11 points. You know, Scoop went crazy. Patrick Williams had an off game. But in game six, we also came back, forcing it to a game seven. Patrick Williams, uh, you know, doing really well. You know, hey, we're beating them by like nine, 10, 11 points. So we're going to into this game seven. Let's see how well we do. And just like that, in that game seven, we came back down 3 1, 115, 107. Now we're in the second round. And now we're down 3 2 to the Dallas Mavericks. And look at this. We win that game. Now we're going to a game seven with the Dallas Mavericks. In game seven, we won 131 to 117. So it wasn't a close at, close game at all. School Henderson with a, with a groundbreaking 43 points and 22 assists. My God. And Patrick Williams also dropped 38 too. Now in the conference finals, we're going against the Rockets once again. Look at Victor went back to the Rockets. Oh my God, he just can't get away from us. And we are down 3-0 to the Rockets. I feel like there's, okay, we did take that one game. Can we take the next one? Hold on, man. We're going to SimCast. Cause why do we always, why are we always down 1-3 or 3-0 bro? Like, and we always make a comeback. And they just made me go to the SimCast for no reason because we got blew up, blown out. Victor Wibben Yama only averaged 17 points, but he's still the conference finals MVP, man. And there we go. The Pacers, they win in seven games. Tyrese Halliburton brings the championship to Indiana. Crazy because Patrick Williams was doing so well in the playoffs too, averaging 28. Uh, Scoot, you know, he averaged 37 in the playoffs as well, bro. Knowing from last season, I just know that being a high seed doesn't mean anything in the playoffs. And we win in the first round. We beat them in six games. Now we're in the second round going against the Denver Nuggets. And we are going to game seven against the Denver Nuggets. And the game wasn't that close. We advanced. We beat them by nine points. Now we're going against the Los Angeles Clippers. And this guy who I'm looking like, he looks like Jessa the Laser, bro. But I see they have Shady Sharp's fine ass in the line. And just like that, we beat them in six. And this is the first time we are in the NBA Finals. Patrick Williams might do himself and bring one home to San Antonio. But we are going against the Wizards, who are a third seed as well. And they have Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Hunter, Cameron Whitmore. We are down 2-0 against them. Uh, can we try to make a comeback? We tie it up 2-2. They are, hey, now we're down 3-2 in the NBA Finals. We might as well go ahead and simcast and see if we could try to make a comeback. I'm sorry to break it to y'all, but the Wizards blew us out because they wanted it more. Cameron Whitmore is the Finals MVP. Damn, Pat. Oh, my God. Patrick Williams in the Game 6 scored 15 points. All right, I got to look what he averaged in the Finals, bro. Okay, I will give it to Patrick Williams. He is 37, but in the most important series of your life you average 21 8 and 4 shooting 40 percent from the field man and 33 percent from the three you're a 91 overall i would have expected him to do more better but school henderson was out there just getting buckets i wish he i wish patrick williams gave him a little bit more help but hey he's old man it's it, it's damn patrick williams even at the age of 38 still making all nba first teams man averaging 27 bro but if only he did that in the playoffs, you know, that, that, 
That would be valid. And we beat the Denver Nuggets in five. And in the second round, we beat the Suns in six games. Now we're back in the Western Conference Finals against the number eight seed, the Warriors. I don't know who the Warriors have for them to be this far as the eight seed, but it's just a bunch of 80 overalls, just mid players. Possibly they're, you know, center taking them this far. And just like that, we swept them in the Conference Finals. Oh my God. And what's crazy is that we could have matched up against the Chicago Bulls, who was the number one seed too but we didn't now we're going against the cavaliers who's been winning championships in the beginning of the video they got keontae george but not really anybody crazy other than that we win game one we win game two is this patrick williams first championship we're gonna sim it and there we go i of course it goes to school henderson though he's the hey he, he's done a lot for this organization we're averaging 25 4 and 14 my goodness i'm gonna go ahead and check patrick williams stats as well see in the last game he dropped 40 to seal the deal y'all 40 13 7 and three blocks that's amazing i can't believe that he still hasn't won you know a dpoy award but it's okay and in the finals we got patrick williams averaging 29 this is what he had to do the first time he was in the finals seven and six you knew he wasn't going to do that again at the age of 38 this is Kawhi Leonard, y'all. Liter literally reincarnated Kawhi. Greg Pop, look at him, man. A champion once again, bro. I could tell, bro. Like, in the inside, he's crying the tears of joy. Just know Patrick Williams is averaging 25, 6.9 rebounds and 4 assists. And we're going to a game 7 against the Clippers. And unfortunately, we lost. And they blew us out, bro. What? See, Patrick Williams, he dropped 33 this game, man. Like, I don't know. I they just blew us out because they have a whole better team than us, as you can see. So it looks like we couldn't go back to back, but it looks like the Bulls might even win a championship. And look at that, bro. Right, hey, right when we win a championship, Patrick Williams' old team wants to win one. And just like that, Patrick Williams retires, calls it a career. After 21 years pro, he is 39. Let's see if he hit the Hall of Fame. And of course he hit the Hall of Fame. He averaged 26 in his whole career, seven rebounds and two assists. Uh, hey, you, you could go ahead and compare this to Kawhi's numbers as of right now, but you know, Kawhi, he isn't retired, obviously, but when he does retire, you could look back at this video and tell me who did better. Uh, but you know, he got 15 all-stars, you know, no DPO-wise, unfortunately. Of course, Kawhi Leonard, he got that in his bag, no MVPs, because Scoot Henderson was the best player on his team. But you know, he got a championship that we be, he been feeling. He didn't get his second one like Kawhi, but it's cool. But he did make all defensive teams, seven of them, and all NBA teams as well. But we're gonna go ahead and look at his career high is his career high is 58 points, 13 threes he made in a game before. Free throws made, he made 19. He had 21 rebounds in a game before. He had 11 assists in the game before. Seven steals, five blocks in one game. So those are his game highs. Now let's go ahead and look at his, his career numbers. And look at that. School Henderson, you know, he's not even retired yet. He's number one. But Patrick Williams did make his way to be number four all time in points. What a big impact that Patrick Williams has put. And three pointers made. Look at Pat. You see it right there. 7,700 700 of them boys, man. Patrick Williams, what do you expect? Keep hating. Patrick Williams on rebounds, he was ranked number 34 with 12,000 of them. And I'm not gonna check assists because come on, man. He was averaging like one assist per season, you know? And Patrick Williams is ranked 37 with 1,877 blocks, 2,141 steals, and ranked 31. And Patrick Williams ranked six in 40 point games. He has 145 40 point games. And in 50 point games, Patrick Williams ranked 12 with 15 of them. So, hey, top 12? I'll take it, man. Hey, but that will be it. Patrick Williams, the next Kawhi, man, I'm telling you. You put him on another team, he's going to perform and he's going to shine. And he got himself a championship. But, hey, shout out my viewers and uh, Young Nero, too, because I know he'd be joking about Patrick Williams in his videos as well. Uh, but, yeah, I'm cool with Young Nero. So, you know, it's like friendly banter. You know, I go at his he he comes at my bulls. It's just for fun. But, hey, go, go ahead and give him a subscribe. And give me a subscribe, too. If you haven't already, uh, I'll be posting hella and link in the bio for the Twitch. Follow my Twitch where we be streaming. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and peace out.